Columbia. I'm having surgery today with Dr. Hector Garcia. I'm getting 360 lipo, transfer to hips, which is the hip boost, etching, and chin lipo. <clears throat> I got here Sunday. The Airbnb host picked me up. Monday, I actually met up with one of the other girls who's having surgery the same day as me and um, went to the mall. We ate. It was pretty fun. I had labs taken that day also. Yesterday, I met with the anesthesiologist and Dr. Hector Garcia. My nurse is actually, they just called for her, so she's actually coming up, and we're gonna head to the clinic, and I'm excited. Me and my nurse, oh we're my walking God. into the clinic. <laughs> this is my new bathing suit line. I'm kidding. My nurse helped me <laughs> put my stockings on. <laughs> Am I nervous? I don't know. Ready. They're walking me. <laughs> We're going and going. I am sitting here. I'm not sure. They did an allergy test here. And then, so they had to put the IV on this hand, which is on the side. And it kind of hurts because it's on the side. But it's funny because I have a tattoo in my hand. And she was like, You didn't think of this before you got your tattoo? <laughs> I'm like, No. Because she couldn't see my vein. I'm here chilling, waiting. Good. I want Jessica. <laughs> and we're going to surgery? No. No, we're not going to surgery. Just kidding. Huh? We are going to meet the doctor. We're going to meet the doctor. Goodbye. Just waking up. So I feel like I worked out for 20 years in one day. And I'm uncomfortable. So I'm leaving the clinic. They gave me this thing to put on my head. And um, yeah, we sexy out here. I feel okay. Um, I don't have any pain except for my chin. So let's hope it stays like this. So I'm back in my Airbnb. I felt a little nauseous because I think I'm just moving too fast and I'm just propped up. Um, I do have like nipple piercings that I had to take out for surgery and I'm so upset because my right side, my right one closed, like it will not go back in, but whatever it'll, I'm going to just get it re-pierced here before I leave. Cause there's, I love my nipple earrings. Um, so I'm just here and yeah, this is day one. Good morning. So I guess today is what day two i don't know i had surgery yesterday so i feel like um somebody beat me up i feel like i got jumped and they all beat me up <laughs> um i have a massage at 8 30 so let's see how that goes my nurse just helped me get up out the bed literally i think the worst things for me so far have been getting in and out of the bed like it took her 10 minutes to get me out of the bed. It was, it hurt so bad because my whole body hurts. Like I said, I feel like I got beat up, but like, so it hurts to move. It hurts when I use my muscle to push, like my stomach, my back. Like literally it took so long. Like that was probably the worst thing, getting up from off of my stomach. The hurt, that's all I wanted to say. Well, I just had my first massage and I almost died. It was it hurt and I think that's it was more so like a whole bunch of pressure and burning and but a lot of pressure. It hurt. I ah Hi Hi Ay, 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 ay,
Oh, this is how hard it is to get in a fucking bed. <laughs> hard, it hurts. Vamos al camara. Camara hiperbarica. I'm just finishing the hyperbaric chamber. And there's so many people on stuff on. Day two, post up. Um, how do I feel? Let's see, when I stand up, I feel like there is a burning fire in my stomach falling down. Like there's acid in my belly falling. Pressure. I, f I use a bathroom today, day two. You know, I see a lot of girls that have problems using the bathroom because of the medication and stuff. So I'm grateful for that. And having my first massage at 8.30. Be my first, my second today at 8:30. Just finished my massage. Um, let's see. It hurt. It didn't hurt as bad as yesterday, but it definitely hurts still. But I'm doing better, and I'm just grateful that I didn't die. But massages are no joke. None. We're gonna go change my faja. <laughs> to the chambers i feel like i'm gonna throw up so we're leaving so i'm just getting back in my airbnb um we had to leave really fast because i felt like i was gonna throw up i felt like i was gonna faint i was getting hot it was like really bad i think we were just doing too much too fast or i was outside too long but it wasn't good i didn't even do the hyperbaric chamber because i was gonna throw up and pass it at the same time so for the rest of the day i'm going to just stay in bed because i don't i don't feel well like i feel dizzy day two post up day three post up um i'm feeling way better than day one um of course as it should be i can yesterday i almost fainted though it was really bad so yesterday i just relaxed the rest of the day um Today, I just have a massage at 8.30, and other than that, I'm just going to be relaxing. I still cannot get laid down or get up out of the bed by myself. I can now sit like this and sit up by myself, sit on the toilet, get up. But I can't lay down by myself or get up out the bed by myself. And if I try to lay on my stomach and get up, that's a whole other story. I can't get It takes me like 15 minutes to get up. But yeah, day three. I've just accepted this is how I'm going to look every day. Day three. Okay. Day three massage con Diana. <laughs> and it hurt so bad. They just put me in a new faja. But it hurt really bad. And I tried to push her off of me. So day three. Yes, I was crying. <laughs> so I'm in the mall. I met with one of my sisters. <laughs> We're in the mall waddling, looking pregnant. We look crazy, but we outside. stomach because I've been laying on my back and my back hurts so much um good luck to me getting out of bed because when I lay on my stomach I can't get out for shit 
But today was a good day. The massage is still hurt like shit. But other than that, it's getting better. Day four, post-op. Today I woke up not feeling it at all. Like, I'm sore as fuck. Just, just over it. I have a massage at 8.30 and that looks like all we're doing today because I'm just, just wanna not feel like I'm in pain anymore. If you plan on getting your body done, just be prepared because it really is no joke. Like, it really, really is no joke. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm in immense pain, but it's just like, I don't know, today I just feel annoyed and over it. Like, I want to just feel good and better. Still feel pressure when I stand a lot. Um, I can't lay in the bed yet by myself still. So, yeah, so it's definitely a journey. It's definitely a ride. But today, it's not my best day. I'm like annoyed as fuck today. And I'm just over it. So, let's just try to change my spirits. My masseuse should be here soon. And yeah. <laughs> I was bawling my eyes out crying today during my massage. That's how bad it hurt today. Like, today is probably my worst day. I was crying, like, bawling, like somebody died. Oh. Oh. She's making me go for a walk because we didn't walk today. So now we're going to walk. I look crazy. Look at my back. I got pampers in. <laughs> <laughs> Dia cinco. Dia cinco. I feel better. Thirty in the morning. <laughs> I feel better. She's washing my chin, Faha. My medical chin, bitches, is swollen still here. But um, I have to get blood work at seven. They're coming to make sure everything's okay. Have my massage, and then I also have to see Dr. Hector. And have a break chamber today, so we have a busy day today. I feel better, thank God. Well, emotionally, I feel better. <laughs> so I just got my blood taken. This lady did not know how to find my fucking vein. So I had to get poked twice. Like, today's gonna be a good day. Vamos a vamos a hacer un buen día. <laughs> <laughs> so i just finished my massage it was actually not i think yesterday was just my worst day like the worst day for me like really bad today of course it still hurt but not as bad as yesterday um i showered and now we're about to go i have my post-op appointment with dr hector so we're gonna go there in a little while look at my chin looks so much better it's swollen still but that's all swollen. I'm just gonna go down. Giving my chin a break, my face a break, because I'm starting to break out in hives, like here too. So I'm gonna tell the doctor about that too. Like my skin is starting to break out. It could be a heat rash, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's, I feel so much better today, day five. On the way to the doctor. Yes. We're going to my pre op appointment. <laughs> My pre-op appointment was for 10.30. We got here like 10.45. We waited in the lobby for mad long. Finally got brought upstairs. It's now like 11.54 and I'm still waiting. And they have me here standing naked. And like I have drains and I feel like, <sighs> yeah, I'm still just waiting for the doctor. And it's getting annoying. So my, he actually ended up coming in not too long after, but I had to run out because I had the chambers, which is right next door. And we were late because the appointment took so long. <laughs> He said that I'm doing really good, I'm draining, I look good for five days post-op. And he put 600 cc's in each hip. I was like, I wanted more and more. And he was like, I didn't have much more. And then that's all that would fit. He said it kept falling out. Like, so that was all he was able to get. We did the chambers, la camera. <laughs> and now we're going back to the Airbnb because I'm starving. I'm gonna go for a walk. If she wants me to put my shirt on, a shirt on. Mira, la camisa. Mira, no se la quiere poner. I don't want to put it on. I have on. This is awful. I'm covered. 
No necesito con eso. No quiere, ¿verdad? Bueno. Day six. I look crazy because I couldn't sleep for shit last night because my I'm in a stage two faja now and it was so tight that I could not fucking sleep. You hear the roosters? They're outside. I mean, they're loud. But I couldn't sleep for shit. I'm cranky. Look, look at my eyes. I look crazy. Um, my face is so sold in here. But I couldn't sleep for shit. I have a massage now at seven this morning. So let's see how that goes. I just finished my massage. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it's still going to hurt every day, but she's putting on my shocks in the phone. Um, but we're getting there. It doesn't hurt as bad as it did though. I think my worst day was the fourth day, but yeah. We have chambers, I think, at two or one. Que hora la cámara? A la una. A la una. So we're going to a hyperbaric chamber. And that's what I have on. And I'm sexy. Oh, sexy. And I'm hunched over because it's so tight, I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. So I'm in my room be alone because yesterday was my nurse's last 24 hour shift. Today was the start of her 12 hour shift, so she gets to go home. And I'm really so grateful that I booked her for as long as I booked her for because today is the first day I'm able to actually like lay down and get up by myself. I have not been able to do that this whole time. And she's helped me so much. Like I'm so grateful. I only have her till Friday, but she'll be back in the morning and I'm just here alone. Order food because I'm hungry. And yeah. Post stop day seven. <laughs> we made it. Um, let me see. I'm gonna stop the video in like a little while, but I will be showing my before and my seven day post stop body. Um I feel better. I did get my I just just finished my massage and it hurt like hell. One of my drains was stabbing me, so she had to take one out and take all the pus out of it. It looks gross. I I'm still have two more hyperbaric chamber sessions. And um I will be doing a part two video because I am here another week, but this video is getting long. So I'm gonna stop it here and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also if you need any information about coming out here, let me know because I have the best nurse, the best driver, everything.